Welcome back guys to the channel for some more DVD news. So yesterday, well last night, there was a ton of new information that was released for the upcoming DLC for Stranger Things and also we've got some new designer notes. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through the designer notes, which are the new status effects and also blood web changes. It's going to be very interesting to see now, because with the blood web, what they're trying to say is it's going to be a lot easier now for blood web in, a, in, you know, in order to actually get the perks you want. So they're not going to be literally higher up all the time. So we're going to look at. So we're going to quickly read it from here. Welcome to our first design update, a blog post presenting the fine details of upcoming design changes. We are ready to share the details of two new status effects, one for killers and one for survivors. That will be making the debut alongside the next chapter, as well as much anticipated changes to the Blood Web. So we're first uh, going to kick it off with the killer status effect, which is called Undetectable. So since Bloodlust Undetectable consolidates our killer stealth mechanics into one easily understandable status effect that can be applied through killer powers, perks and add-ons. When a killer is undetectable, the following effects are applied. The killer's terror radius is removed. The killer's red stain is removed. The killer will not have their aura revealed. The killer does not trigger the jump scare sound effect. And the killer sees the smoky screen visual effect. So with them, I actually think that's really, really cool for the, if you want to play as the killer all the time. And I play as both, so it's going to be good seeing that these changes are coming in and they're being implemented. Obviously, the terror rage is going to be removed. The killer's red stain on the ground is not going to be there. So you could literally be going around the corner. Leatherface, Freddy, whoever. You know, even the old Demi. They could just be there just waiting for you. That is going to be so cool. And it's also going to scare the shit out of a lot of people. As with most of our status effects, the undetectable icon will appear on the right side of the screen. When the new chapter releases, players will have an opportunity to experience a status effect for the first time with the new killer. We intend to roll out this status effect to other existing powers, perks and add-ons where relevant in upcoming chapter, mid-chapter releases. So that's going to be pretty cool, I think. I can't wait for that. Then the next one, which is the survivor one, is Oblivious. Oblivious is a status effect applied to unfortunate survivors that have no understanding that a killer is nearby. When a survivor is oblivious, the following effects are applied. The survivor does not hear the killer's terror radius, and the survivor is not affected by any effects that are conditional to being inside of a terror radius. So those ones there, oh my god, that is going to cause so many jump scares for people, that's going to be incredible. You say even says here, being oblivious makes a survivor completely ignorant of a killer in close proximity, but at the same time they also ignore the effects of... Cothrophobia, if I'm saying that wrong, do apologise, unnerving presence, <laughs> infectious fright, and other terror radius perks. So, <laughs> you can just see now, it's going to be, you know, working on the, on the generator, you're going to be there, all of a sudden you look around, and they're just going to be there looking at you, and you're going to be like, oh my god, I've just literally died. So that's what's going to happen with that, that's going to be great. As with the undetectable status, survivors will have the opportunity to experience this effect when playing against the new killer in the upcoming chapter release. Following this, we will include Oblivious and other powers, perks and add-ons in later patches. So now we're going to have a look by here now, which is going to be the Blood Web Change. And I really hope that this does go now. So the update will see a change to the Blood Web, which significantly cuts down the amount of time taken to unlock perks. Oh, that's cool. So are they going to cut down the price of them? Or, you know, with Blood Points? What, you know? From level 40 and beyond, more perks will appear in each Blood Web, giving you more choice between which perks you take, increasing the odds of finding the perk you want, and potentially allowing you to take two perks per level. Oh, that's pretty cool. The exact details are as follows. So, level 1 to 39 is unchanged. That's not new, nothing new there. Levels 40 to 49, three perks appear, up to two can be purchased. Level 50 onwards, four perks appear, up to two can, you know, can be purchased as well. So, that's great. The other rules of the blood web remain the same. When you take a perk, the entity consumes another perk at random. If you are efficient at acquiring nodes on the blood web, this change means that you can earn up to two perks per level, although you will be racing against the entity. Sounds cool. 
With the total number of perks growing with each chapter release, getting the perks you wanted could be challenging. With this change, the odds of finding the perk you want are doubled and the amount of time taken to unlock all perks is dramatically reduced. You know what, I actually think that's going to be a great idea and I think it's going to work really, really well. Especially obviously when they keep adding in brand new killers now. Again, Stranger Things DLC coming most likely on the 10th of September. If not the 10th, it could be the 17th of September. And it's going to be great. Again, you know, the actual trailer release the year when everyone knew that it was going to be Stranger Things. It was number one on trending on YouTube. That is crazy. That just goes to show how many people love Stranger Things. And again, it's given the game Dead by Daylight a huge push. Because I really do think now that this is going to bring in a, in a ton of new players. Because again, there's no Stranger Things game out there like this, is there? You know, so it can be like, oh my god, you can play as these characters. You can face off against the Demi Gorgon. Or you can even be the Demi, you know. That's just going to give it so much more oomph. And I can see that this year is going to be the big year for DVD. So until then, I'll see you all in the fog and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.